Welcome to another Down the Rabbit Hole video. Uh, this is the, I swear, final bit of glassware from Blade Runner that I'm going to be unboxing and adding to my collection. I'm done after this. Um, this is the shot glass that uh, Deckard was drinking out of when he and Rachel go back to his apartment. Uh, the kind of iconic one with the blue ribbed uh, kind of uh, rings around the base of it. Now, Deckard does have a drink from uh, Bryant's shot glass as well, but this blue one is kind of, I don't know, to me that's the shot glass from the, from the movie that uh, kind of means things. Um, I hadn't really intended on getting a shot glass because, again, much like uh, the various other Blade Runner bottle whiskey videos that I've done, I'm not much of a drinker, at least not of the hard stuff like this. So why would I need a shot glass? And then ironically... A couple of years ago, uh, my wife and I decided, let's make, uh, there was some kind of a cake for my mom, I think it was her birthday or something, we thought we'll make her an Irish whiskey cake. And it says very clearly in the instructions, add like something like two shots of Irish whiskey. And we thought, okay, sure, we'll do that. And we went up and down and all over the kitchen and we suddenly realized we don't have any shot glasses at all in the house. Like, it's... It's not something we've ever really needed, and now that we've got this recipe that requires it, what are we going to do? So we're going to eyeball it, and I thought, right, I'm going to keep my eyes open for a shot glass, and every time I've gone to the Portland Retro Gaming Expo or Vancouver Fan Expo or any of these shows, I've always thought, I wonder if there's some cool, nerdy kind of shot glass that I can finally pick up so that I'm never in that situation again. Turns out, no, nobody ever has them. And in fact, um, the last time I went to the Portland Retro Show, there is a guy who's got a whole table full of glassware. And I said, hey, man, you got any shot glasses here? Because he's got beer steins and wine glasses and tumblers, you name it. And he said, no, I don't actually. I'm not not here. I've got, it my, I've got it at my shop. Here's my card, etc., etc." And I said, yeah, why does nobody ever have shot glasses? And he said, well... It's kind of a thing of real estate. You know, we, it's such a small item that you're not going to get that many sales out of compared to the beer steins and all that kind of stuff. So we really pretty much leave these at home. And I thought, ah, okay. So I had kind of given up the thought of ever getting any kind of a shot glass that has Pac-Man on it or Darth Vader or any of that kind of stuff. But as I've been collecting these other things from Blade Runner, I just thought, well... Deckard drinks from a shot glass, and it's kind of symbolic and, and important in the film, and if I ever need something for a, uh, a recipe in future, yeah, let's get Deckard's shot glass so that we finally complete the collection. So that's what's in here. Um, there's actually two of them, and in the picture, uh, I'm a little worried because the seller had, it's both a red one, or a shot glass with a red ring, and a the, the actual shot glass I'm looking for with the blue ring. In the picture, though, as you can see here, the red one is sort of around the waist of the shot glass, and the blue ring is more toward kind of the knees of the shot glass. And I'm thinking, is this in bad condition and these rings are just going to fall off? I guess there's only one way to find out. Let's open her up and have a look. Got it nicely packaged with popcorn. There's the red one. And the blue one. Anything else? Nope. So let's at least have a look at the red one first. I will give it to the guy. He's definitely packaged them well. They're not going to crack or anything with this kind of cushioning around them. Okay, so there's the red one. Now, is this thing just like a rubber band? Nope. No, it doesn't move. Okay. Yeah, nice and heavy. Very, very nice. Um, I was asking on the RPF, I've mentioned them a few times in these various Blade Runner videos, that uh, 
looking for these shot glasses. And the guy said, you know what? If you'd asked me like two weeks ago, I had a whole pile of the ones with the blue rings that I was getting rid of. I would have given it to you for free, but alas, my timing is rotten. However, now I have that one there. The interesting thing about the blue one, obviously I got this on eBay. Uh, the blue one, a lot of people have it, but not with these rings, not actually ribbed like this. There's, a, I guess, another variety that's, it's almost like a little doily skirt. And I just thought, no, 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 it's got to have the ring. So let's see what the blue one's like. This is the important one. This is the one that I really, really want. Ta-da! Yes, so there's the blue rings. Very nice. Strange that they're lower than the red. Uh, this is apparently a well-known vintage brand of uh, shot glasses that you can get pretty commonly. But I have had a heck of a time trying to find them. This doesn't slide down. No, this is permanently on there. Okay, good. So it's not just like some rubber bands that are stuck on there. That's formed into the glass. Okay, good. Good. So that will work for me. Uh, this red one, I don't know. I'll use that for something, I'm sure. But... This is the one that I wanted. I now have Deckard's shot glass for all my shot glass needs, of which I have very few. But that recipe made me realize, yep, sometimes you need a shot glass. And in fact, this gives me an idea. Now, I could have also done the bit where Deckard's in bed, but I just thought, I don't need to subject any of you to that, so you're welcome. However, there it is. There's all my Blade Runner glassware. I think I'm pretty much done at this point. I mean, the shot glass being the final edition, I'm very much appreciated. Um, there is a square kind of decanter that Kay uses in the new film, which I suppose would also round out the collection and give the 2049 bottle a bit of company. But I think I'm done. I mean, this is already a pretty substantial collection, and I'm pretty happy with it. So I think I'm, I think I'm good to go. And honestly, at this stage of the game, this sort of collection can get a little uh, embarrassing. No, sir, not embarrassing, because no one's ever going to find out they're down here. But you're going to spot them, and you're going to air them out. But I don't need to. They're all right here. Anyway, until next time, we'll see you down the rabbit hole.